Hello and welcome, I am your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to take our previous UI arrow pointer and customize it with different colors and sprites. Let's get started. So here's the pointers from the previous videos. I have several of them pointing to different locations. When the pointer is off screen, it shows a arrow. And when it gets on screen, it shows a cross. And right now when I get near, it gets destroyed. All right, so let's modify the color of our sprites. So in here on our create pointer function, let's add two parameters, one for the arrow color and one for the cross color. Let's send those two parameters into our quest pointer constructor. All right, so we are now receiving both colors in our constructor for our quest pointer object. And here on our update, if it is off screen, then we're showing the arrow sprite. So let's modify the pointer image dot color to be our arrow color. And in here on our cross sprite, let's use the cross color. So on our game handle, let's give different colors to our different pointers. So in here, I'm going to go into the utils class, which is part of the CodeMonkey utilities, which you can grab from entcodemonkey.com. I'm going to use the get color from string function which essentially allows me to use a hex string and it will return a color object. So let's make this one red, so FF0000. And for this one down here, let's make it in green. And finally down here, let's make it in blue. And give the exact same color to our crosses. All right, so let's test and see if our arrows show different colors. Yep, there you go, that one is blue, red, and green. And as I move, the crosses also have the exact same color. Okay, great. All right, so now let's test, giving it a different color to our cross to make sure that one is correct. So give this one a white color. So on the first pointer, it should be in red, and when I get near, the cross should display in white. Right? And when I get near, and the cross is white. Yep, great. So we are correctly giving different colors to each of our pointers. Now another thing we can easily do, since we can modify the colors, is to make it transparent. So let's test that now. In here, get color from string supports sending a alpha value. So with an alpha of zero, it should be completely transparent. So there's the arrow, and when I get near, and poof, there you go. The cross is in there, but it is transparent. This can be useful if all you want to do is direct the player to an area and not necessarily a very specific position. All right, so now that we got colors working, let's customize our sprites. So right now, our code is actually already using dynamic sprites. We're storing a member variable here and applying it in here. But when we are creating, we are sending our default sprites. Let's add the sprites as parameters. So let's make a sprite for the arrow sprite and a sprite for the cross sprite. Let's make them optional so we have default functionality. So by default, these will be null. So in here, it will be null. And in here, let's simply test. If the parameter is null, then we're going to set to our window arrow sprite and do the same thing for the cross sprite. So this way, if we feed a null in here, we simply get the default arrow and sprites, which should be probably good when we don't want something extremely custom. Okay, let's see if everything is still working using the default sprites. And there you go, the default arrow sprite. So let's make a different sprite. All right, so in here I have some different sprites. I have a different arrow, a different cross type, and a exclamation point as if in an MMO. So let's first go into our game handler and add these sprites as serialized fields so we can set them in the editor. So a custom arrow sprite a custom cross sprite and a exclamation point sprite. All right, so for the first one, let's leave it as is. For the second one, let's give it the custom arrow sprite and the custom cross sprite. And for the third one, let's give it the custom arrow sprite and the exclamation point sprite. And let's make the exclamation point in yellow. So yellow is red, green, and zero. All right, so now in our editor, let's drag our sprites in here. Okay, so let's test and see if all of our custom sprites are being correctly used. All right, as you can see, these two sprites are the custom arrows, which are different from that one. And when I get near, 
Yep, as you can see, that one is using the custom cross sprite. That one is using the default. When I get close, everything still works the same. They still vanish. And in this one, when I get near, Yep, there you go. It's using the custom sprite, which is a exclamation point and is tinted in yellow. So there you have it. We have added customization to our quest pointer to be able to have sprites more applicable to each pointer. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from intcodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.